A few days ago, I received an invitation from China City of Laker, Lujo City to attend the third Global Geographical Indications Product Expo. What does geographical indications mean? I actually did research geographical indications products online. That seems a little bit complicated. How about we ask somebody there for their own interpretations? The expo starts on September 20th and will last for three days. Over 900 companies from home and abroad participated with 3,200 special products. And this year's guest of honor is Spain. Since we have a pavilion for foreign GI products, what does this expo mean to them? So I just ran and picked two people to ask them about the definition of the GI. We believe after going through all the exhibitions in the different halls, uh, it is more towards uh, agricultural products, mostly. It's good that they can come together, share their knowledge about the producing of wine, and you can bring people together and bring people to try. If you want to choose one geographic indication products from mm. Lujo, which oh. one? That would be the white wine? Or I think the white wine, yes. The white wine, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely white wine, yes. Yeah. And how about these people looking more Spanish? Well, Mr. Pino is the right person to answer that question. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is a very, very, very simple thing. Uh, a geographical indication is when you have a product that is defined by the characteristics, characteristics of a certain area, certain region, certain zone. That includes the soil conditions, so the composition of the soil, the climate, and also very important that we have to remember is that it also influences this uh, the way the product is produced. Last night we had a taste of some of the liquors. Uh, Bayo. 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 Very good. Oh, okay. uh, uh, I like it. Yeah. You like it? Uh, yes. We're very interested in inaugurating this pavilion and then hoping that this produces something that engages into further. It has a follow-up. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So maybe next year you guys will also come. Maybe, yeah. yeah. I will see you they guys will, next they year. They will be members okay. with a greater number of recognized geographical indications. 372. One little story. It was quite cringy to know that the man I just interviewed was a consul general of Spain in Chengdu. Yet with the opening of the China EU GI pavilion, I found another guy to interview. Time being here no, I've been here since the first, and I am very glad to see how it develops. In the future, I expect to see more and more products in this pavilion, who are the superpower uh, in culture. China is also a superpower in economy, but as a superpower in culture, all the EU and uh, especially some of the EU uh, founding members, we should uh, use it again as a great, great, great tool and bridge for our cooperation. Just like they said, the Expo serves as a bridge connecting different countries. The GI products are the culture carriers. May our friendships be like the wines, gets better with ages.